Hey everybody, Andrew here from Basic Basics again. As you can see, we're back in the old crypto cave. And today we're gonna to talk about what makes this not annoying or just annoying enough when my wife lets me go ahead and do it. We're gonna talk about sound. We're gonna talk about cooling, which is gonna have us talk about the RPM and the CFM of each of the fans. Now, to measure the RPM, obviously I can just use the firmware to measure the CFM uh, I went ahead and used a air measuring tool, as well as for sound, I went ahead and used a sound me measuring tool. For sound, I used a simple dB meter, as you can see. The louder I talk, the higher the dB. The first and most often missed thing in when using one of these meters is understanding that you have to actually adjust the area of what you're measuring to get a proper CFM measurement. So knowing I'm using a four inch duct, I have to take the pi r squared formula, which is pi times two times my radius, which is two, which is four. So four times pi, then I have to divide that into a square foot, 12 by 12, 144. So roughly 12 into 144 is roughly 112, which is my 0.87. Also, then I need to go to my units. Once I move through, I go ahead and I want to do not cubic meters per second, cubic meters per minute, cubic feet per minute. There is my CFM. Now I can accurately measure at the exhaust of my unit. So just a quick note to start. You'll see we've got a graph here that shows the percentages on the bottom on the horizontal axis that we are going ahead and setting in the firmware. And then on the vertical axis, you see the actual RPM that it's measuring. Uh, big thing to remember, these stock fans are a 6,000 RPM max and 225 CFM. So as you see, as we go through this, um, while the percentages don't directly mimic them, the actual performance of the fan at the various RPMs does work uh, quite well. At 20%, we are sitting around 2400 RPM and only about 85 CFM. So it's about the minimum I've found that you can run uh, your miner at and still keep it cooled running at just below stock frequencies. Uh, as you can see, you don't need any sort of containment at all. This is super quiet. And in fact, if anything's moving the uh, noise meter up, it's actually me speaking because we're sitting right around conversational levels. At 30%, we're sitting at about 2850 RPM and 100 CFM. So we're right at that point where I wouldn't try to overclock them much because you just don't have that air movement moving through. At 40%, this has become my annoying hobby to my wife. And we're sitting about 3300 RPM and about 115 CFM. At 50%, we're running about 3700 RPM. And at the exhaust, we're getting about 130 CFM. At 60%, we're running about 4,200 RPM and roughly 145 CFM. So this is about the level where you feel safe to overclock your units from stock. For me, I run the L3 at uh, up to 469 megahertz safely at this level with this amount of CFM running through. Uh, but once again, every unit's different, every hash board's different. So make sure you watch those temps. At 70%, we're sitting at about 4,600 RPM, and from my measurements from the past, it's sitting at the exhaust right at about 160 CFM. At 80%, yeah, I gotta talk a little louder now. We're sitting at about 5,150 RPM, and I've measured approximately 177 CFM at the output. Running the fans at 90%, you can see quite a bit louder. Uh, at this point, I've had three or four shoes thrown at me saying get these damn things out of the house. But we're sitting right at about 5,600 RPM on the fans. And at the exhaust, I'm getting about 200 CFM now. And at 100%, we'd go overclock the shit out of it at this point. And we're running the fans, though, at their max at 6,000 RPM. But we're getting about 225 CFM at the exhaust. So you're going to have your best performance at this level but you're also gonna be the most hated person in the house if we're even able to keep it in a house at this point. So one of the biggest things I found was there actually was a direct correlation uh, with the RPM to the CFM, which I assumed there would be. 
One of the ways we can see the direct correlation is we go ahead and normalize it and look at fan CFM per 100 RPM. And you can see across the board, regardless of the fan speed, we're still pushing about two and a half on the input and around three and a half on the output CFM per 100 RPM. But here's what it boils down to. Let's keep it white noise or below. Let's keep it conversation or below, and we can keep running these things in the home. So as you can see, once we get below 50% in the RPM, we're generally sitting at that dB level that's acceptable that we can pretty much easily muffle without a lot of work. Additionally, the less we have to muffle, the less we have to be concerned with heat. I hope you found this video useful. Please visit ASICBasics.com. Go ahead and subscribe and follow me on YouTube and feel free to hit me up with any questions, comments, or videos or information you'd like to see.